couldn't identify this body after all. But there is an important fact that I understand now. First, let's sort out what we do now. We'll talk later. First is the time since death. The card with that is... Yes, the nitrogen and amino acids in the bones prove that. Remember, the body's soft tissue was gone before it was found. This suggests that the body wasn't underwater or buried. Next, I have the card stating the gender of the body. Correct. The shape of the pelvis, the face, and bones prove that. However, he had a thin build. He could hardly be muscular. Next, the age. This card tells our findings. Yes, the cranial sutures have fused with age. This proves that this person was at least in his 50s. It's possible to determine his race as well. This card shows my conclusion based on the evidence. Racial differences are mainly exhibited in skull shape. The eye sockets, cheekbones, nose ridge, it's clear. Our next clue is his occupation. Now, this is only speculation. But I believe this card shows what he did for a living. Yes. If the items belonged to him, he was in medicine. In addition, it's likely that he worked in pathology. Now then, what was the cause of his untimely demise? This card shows that reason. A virus living within a corpse long after the host dies. I don't want to believe it, but Bones don't lie. The virus passes into the mucous membranes on contact. He died like the man Gabe diagnosed. Hemorrhagic fever. He understood what was happening. He knew why he died. He knew, and it shows, in the last words he had to say. <laughs> 